I'm Gloria Strode and welcome to Straightforward. Today we have a very special treat for you. One of the best and the brightest of the Albany State University designer, CEO, Laura Adams. Welcome, Laura. Thank you for having me. Well, you know, at Albany State, people that know me know that I, I, I am just, there is no shame. I always like to brag on those of us that had that experience at the Flint River with all of that wonderful training. Yes. And, you know, they really invest a lot into us, not just education, but they build character and a lot of wonderful skills. So you attended Albany State and your life has just really gone international. Yes. yes. So you are a Columbus <laughs> native. Yes, I am. So if you would just share with our audience, uh, you are part of Muscogee County School, went on to Albany State. We want to share that part of the story first. Okay. Yes, I am from the Fountain City of Columbus, Georgia. All right. Um, I actually uh, graduated from Hardaway High School. Mm -hmm. I went to Carver High School for two years and I graduated Hardaway. And while I was at Hardaway, they took us on a um, HBCU trip mm -hmm. where we could like see different HBCUs. And when we went to Albany State, I just fell in love with the campus right. because they had just finished uh, doing a lot of remodeling right. from the flood. flood. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, it's so beautiful down here. So mm -hmm. of course, went to Albany State. Um, and when I got there, I didn't have a major because I didn't, I had no idea. Really? <laughs> yes. I had oh, okay. no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was, I wanted to be a doctor, like really? a general family physician, mm -hmm. but I, I wasn't too sure. So um, I was undecided, undeclared for about three years. Um, and then finally, I was like, oh, my father is a teacher. So right. I just, I'll be a teacher. I just need a school teacher. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a major and graduate. Right, right. Yeah, because right. dad's really looking at it now, <laughs> right? right yeah, after three years. By th year three, my father was like, um, you need to make up your, your mind, mind or you're coming home. <laughs> right. And I didn't want to come home. <laughs> right. So uh, I majored in um, education, science education, okay. since I took a lot of courses in science because I was thinking about oh, being a physician. The doctor. Right. right. Mm -hmm. um, so I ended up becoming a science teacher. So I graduated. Really? Uh, yes. I, and I only graduated a, uh, a semester later than I would have yeah. had I had a major Right. Um, in the beginning. And so you were a science teacher. Yes. And where did you start that career? Well, as soon as I graduated, I moved to Fulton County. Okay. In fact, I graduated December 10th. Mm -hmm. I started work December 12th. Really? Yes. I so had. they had a job waiting for you because you were a science teacher. Yes. And that's yes. one of the hard to feel type. Yes. Yeah. I positions. interviewed. I interviewed like on the first or something like that. Really? Got the job. I know I got the job on the fifth. Mm -hmm. I hadn't even graduated yet. Yes. So um, yeah. I, so there was really a need for yes. science teachers. It was a mm -hmm. huge need. Mm -hmm. um, so I started teaching. I taught eighth grade physical science. Really? And you yes. look like an eighth grader, which is a compliment, because <laughs> as you get older, like yes. me, you want to keep that youthful look. So you actually started like a middle school teacher. Yes. yes really? I did. And I was only 21 years old at the time. Wow. Um, and I was with 12 and 13 year olds. And it was very fun. Mm -hmm. I had a good time. The first couple of years, I was really excited. I was mm -hmm. like, this is the dream career. Right. You know, um, I get to have fun with the kids. I get to teach the kids. Mm -hmm. And I'm off three months out of the year. Right. Summers and holidays. Yes, yes. And I'm getting paid. And I'm getting paid. I was mm -hmm. making a decent salary. I thought it was a dream career. Mm -hmm. But by year three, I was feeling like my creative I wasn't using my creativity the way God intended me to mm -hmm. use it. You not, know? not your gifts. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. So um, I felt like I was just kind of trapped in a box, mm -hmm. just my classroom. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, uh, I noticed a lot of the teachers, they always complimented me on my fashion. They're right. like, oh, well, I love the way you dress. Miss mm -hmm. Moore, you look beautiful. That's my maiden name. Moore. Right. Miss Moore, you look beautiful. So I had an interest in fashion. Mm -hmm. So my third year teaching, I opened up an online fashion store. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Yes, I opened and, but you were keeping your day job yes. teaching. Yes, I okay. had my day job teaching. I opened an online fashion store. Um, and it did okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it was called Diva Gala. Mm -hmm. And basically... I spent most of the time ordering clothes, so I hadn't really... Somebody else's clothes. Yeah, somebody okay, else's manufactured. clothes. Right. Mm -hmm. I ordered them from the L.A. Fashion District. Mm -hmm. So I spent a year ordering clothes and just getting inventory together. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yes, yeah, so I spent most of that time doing that. And then by my fourth year of teaching, I was really ready to open my store and really mm -hmm. get started. Very excited about it. Um, the first couple of months, I did decent. I made, I probably made a couple of hundred dollars, mm -hmm. but someone told me if I want to make it my full-time career, mm -hmm. I have to make it full-time. You can't right. turn a part-time hobby into a full-time full -time. career. Really? Yes. Okay. And, you know, it made me think. It was like, wow, you know, if I want to be serious about this, I do mm -hmm. need to make it my full-time. Mm -hmm. So my fourth year, I spent saving money. Okay. Because I knew I wouldn't, it would be my last year teaching. So mm -hmm. I, I saved as much as my paycheck as I could. Really? Yes. So was this something dad knew about? Because you know dad's a retired educator and, and you have to have a real plan. Right, right, right. So right. was dad and mom kind of saying, are you crazy? You went to college, you Ooh. have this bachelor's, a master's, you've spent all this money on education and you're going to do what? That's exactly what <laughs> happened. Um, when I told my mom and dad what I was planning to do, mm -hmm. they were like, no, that's ridiculous no right. that doesn't even make sense right. what about health insurance mm -hmm. you know that oh, was, yeah. that, that was yeah. their big concern me right. having health insurance mm -hmm. I was like oh it's gonna be fine mm -hmm. and my dad he was like Laura because he calls me Laura right he was like Laura I don't think this is the smartest decision just, mm -hmm. just stay teaching for a while you know and I was right. like right he wants you to have some stability, stability. Right. right that was his thing mm -hmm. so I was like okay but in the back of my mind I already knew what I wanted. You to had do. a plan. Yes, I had and, a plan. And you were making a plan so you could execute your plan and yes. not necessarily mom's and dad's. Yes, oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Well, what we're going to do right now, Laura, we're going to take a break, go to our sponsors, and we'll be right back. All right. We'll be right back after word from some of our sponsors. Straightforward is brought to you by Chalk by Quincy introduces excellence redefined, tying pieces of the finest technology, luxury, and class with tons of style at chalklifestyle.com. Renal Associates LLC, a team of physicians dedicated to excellent kidney care with five convenient locations to serve you. Stark Avenue, Columbus, Bradley Park, Columbus, Lafayette Parkway, LaGrange, East Burkhalter Avenue, Buena Vista, and Springs Street in Warm Springs. Thai Thai Cuisine, the area's only authentic Thai restaurant. Open for lunch and dinner, Monday through Saturday. Located in the Village Green Shopping Center on the 280 Bypass in Phoenix City. To represent a home of distinction requires highly qualified real estate professionals with unique experience and local expertise. Elite Ventures Realty is now Prestige Property Brokers, here to assist with buying or selling, construction of your dream home, or building a real estate investment portfolio. And Prestige also offers certified relocation agents to proudly serve our military families. Contact Prestige Property Brokers to begin your next real estate journey. History is important because it shows where you're coming from and where you're going. Type 2 diabetes is something that runs in my family, which means I'm at risk. In fact, one in three American adults are at risk for developing type 2 diabetes. And knowing this, if I do nothing, that family history becomes my family's future. And my family is too important to me for that. Take the risk factor assessment today at AskGreenNo.com. And welcome back to Straight Forward. I'm continuing my conversation with one of Albany State's best and brightest, well, Laura Adams. Laura, your story is so fun and it's so exciting. Yes. Of course, I know for your parents, they were like pulling their hair out because now you've already decided, you have a plan, you're going to stop teaching, right. which gave you benefits and a regular paycheck, yes. and you're gonna launch into the deep yes. with your own business. Yes. Share that part of the story with us. Okay, definitely. Um, everyone at the school knew about my business. It was mm -hmm. called Diva Gala. Uh, you know, even when my last day at work, you know, people were very excited. Mm -hmm. um, so 
that was it. Mm -hmm. So um, that you resigned. I, I just resigned. I oh, turned wow. my letter. That was it. <laughs> um, and then it was it was time to make money. Mm -hmm. So I was so excited. My first month, I was like, Oh, I'm gonna be out here. I got all these beautiful clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, clothes that I would wear. Right. I'm gonna sell these clothes. My first month. I made three hundred and sixty-seven dollars. Oh, not enough to pay the bills. Not enough to pay the bills. Oh three hundred and sixty-seven dollars. The next month, I made a hundred and fifty-one dollars. Oh, so what are we doing about rent and yes. everything? Now oh. I had because I saved money before right. I quit my job. I saved about six months mm -hmm. worth about six months worth of income. Okay. Before I um, resigned. Mm -hmm. So by the third month, it was just I was kind of at a yeah. And the sense that it wasn't doing what it needed to do. Mm -hmm. And this was also before Instagram. Right. Facebook had just gotten on board with, right. you know, the Facebook pages for business. Mm -hmm. So um, by December, mm -hmm. my lease in my apartment was going to be up that January. Mm -hmm. And I did not want to re-sign a lease. Right. If I wasn't going to be, be able, able to, to afford, afford it, it. yes, because yes. I was down to my last three thousand dollars. Whoa! Yes, so I was doing month to month uh -huh. in the apartment that I was living in, and I was living in um, downtown mm -hmm. Atlanta. Expensive. It was it was expensive, right. and so the month to month was even more. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because if you don't sign the long term, yeah, it, exactly. Um, so I was basically using all my resources just to survive and right. buy. The month of February, I couldn't afford to pay any of my bills. Wow. And I could have went back to teaching. Right. But I was like, no, I trust in this. Right. You know, I trust in, you know, God will make a way. Right. So um, I ended up moving out of my apartment. Mm -hmm. I didn't really have anywhere to go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Following yeah. your dream. Yes. And I, I, all I had was my car. And my mom taught me one thing. She said, you know, before you pay any other bill, pay mm -hmm. your car note. Mm -hmm. Because you can always live out your car. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't <laughs> drive your house, house nowhere. Exactly. <laughs> yes. exactly. So I, I, I had my car. And I basically was just kind of stuck with my car you know and I had like homeless yeah homeless really a, yes homeless and I wasn't I mean you could always come, come back, back to Columbus, home, but I but you didn't want to do that I didn't want to do that. follow that dream I was gonna follow because yeah, your mom and dad both have houses yeah. you know you <laughs> yes. have somewhere to sleep <laughs> I did but you were trying to do that dream thing right I was mm -hmm. so um my sister mm -hmm. she was living in she just moved to Atlanta mm -hmm. she said you know you can come stay with me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, do I have to pay anything because I can't really afford? <laughs> and she was like, no, just wash my dishes. Okay. So my sister let me live with her. Okay. And, and she's a military officer. Military, right. right. And in exchange, I would wash her dishes. Okay. I was living with her and her husband. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I started a, a website branding business. Mm hmm and doing websites, building websites and doing branding, you know, I pretty much learned how to, I, I learned, I basically learned just how to run a business successfully, mm -hmm. you know, by watching other people right. run their businesses. Right. Um, so this is kind of like an on-the-job training. Yeah, yes. So you were getting everything in place yes. before you launched into your corporation, which is international. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I made great money. I was back on my feet again. I was starting to make, you know, mm -hmm. money doing that. Right. And so finally, um, I ended up getting married. Mm, and this good. is the part where my life really changed. Mm -hmm. I ended up getting married. And my husband, he's very, very supportive. And mm -hmm. he's all about me, you know, living out my dreams. And, you're, and, and supporting you. Exactly. There's no competition. Yes. Support. Yes. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I, want, I was trying to do style blogging. I was like, I'm mm -hmm. just going to be a style blogger because I right. love style. He would take pictures of me and um, the clothes to, to do style buying was really expensive. Very. Very expensive. So mm -hmm. I was like, well, what am I going to do now? Because mm -hmm. I don't want to go and spend all this money on these clothes. Right. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make my own. So, so that was that talent. Yes. Your gift will make room for you. Yes. So you had those skills and you were not thinking when you were buying clothes from the Los Angeles Garment District. Yes. So it wasn't the season for that. But yes. now you're approaching the season. Yes. Yes. So I started I started with a tool skirt. So mm -hmm. I made a tool skirt. My husband, we went out, we bought a sewing machine. 
And I already knew how to sew because I've been sewing by hand for a long time. Mm -hmm. I didn't really know how to use a sewing machine. Really? Yeah. I, I just read the instructions. And taught yourself? <laughs> taught myself. Oh, all being a state. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that critical thinking. Yes. Why? I mean, no, really. Yes. Because who does that? Right. Mm -hmm. Me. Yeah. <laughs> so I um, made a tool skirt. And then um, with the tool skirt, I was like, ooh, I can put lace over it. So mm -hmm. I ended up making this lace skirt that had tool under it. Mm -hmm. And I put it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, I got all these likes and comments. And people were like, hey, I mm -hmm. want one. Right. And I was like, oh, OK. So <laughs> um, I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to start a business. Because mm -hmm. I knew about business. I knew how to build a website. Right. I knew about branding. So. June, and you had tried your own with yes, somebody else's, else's clothes. Yes, clothes. Right? So I was like. June fifteenth, I opened my business. It only took me a day to put a website up. Okay, and what's the, the name of your business? My business is Joseph and Ellen. All right. Yes, and Joseph and Ellen is my middle name. Okay. My middle name is Josephlyn. Uh huh. So I just broke it into two individual names. Okay. Joseph and Ellen. I sold my first skirt that night. I only really? had one order that night. Really? Yes. The first day you put the website first up. First day I put the website up. Within wow. an hour, I had an order. Her name mm -hmm. was Dierica. And she's a blogger. She bought my classic skirt. Then the next day, I had another order. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I think the first month, it was, well, the first two weeks, mm -hmm. I probably made about $1,500. Really? Yes. Then you knew. You had found I your niche. I, yes, I knew it. I mm -hmm. knew it. Um, so my business was uh, growing. Oh, it was doing okay. Mm -hmm. But the missing piece was I was reaching out to my family and friends. Right. You know, and you have to go beyond that have, circle. You have, I, I can tell you that. Yes. Even just with TV. Yes. Because TV is a business. Yes. And even when you are in business, sometimes family don't understand that you really are in business. Exactly. 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 Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had to make a decision. I was like, I have to find another market mm -hmm. because this market People want deals, they want discounts, right. they don't want to pay, they yeah. don't even believe in what I can do because they're right. saying, oh, well, do you think you can do it? Right. You know, so I was like, I have to reach another market. And that's right. when I joined Etsy. It's mm -hmm. a site called Etsy.com. Right. I joined Etsy about Christmas time. Mm -hmm. A week later, I got an order on Etsy. I got an order on Etsy. Then two days later, I got two more orders on Etsy. Wow. Yes. And then I was like, you know, I have a goal. I just want five orders this month on Etsy. Well, that month I ended up getting five orders in a week. Really? Yes. Wow. On Etsy. So you had found the right place. Yes. What we're going to do is we're going to put a pin right there, okay. go to our break, and we'll be right back. We'll be right back after word from some of our sponsors. Straight Forward is brought to you by Warrior Outreach. Contact Command Sergeant Major Retired Sam Rhodes or Kathy Rhodes. Freedom Printing for all of your designer printing needs. Gunboat Plaza, Suite 18. Progressive Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1952. The George Ford legacy of high standards continues today in the compassionate and professional services provided. A touch of dignity for those who care. Progressive Funeral Home, 4235 St. Mary's Road, trusted by generation. Walmart's reason for supporting Thurgood Marshall College Fund is simple. We like to win. And we have been given a lot of exposure to some, to some incredible talent. And we also believe that it's a part of our responsibility to the community to give back. This is a great opportunity to do both. It's been a wonderful experience for us through the years. We've appreciated our partnership. We believe in return on investment, and we have definitely had a remarkable return. I'm Drew Brees, and being a dad means the world to me. And one of the most important things any parent can do is make sure their kids get active at least 60 minutes each day. Studies show that physical activity not only helps kids stay healthy, it can enhance important skills like concentration and problem solving, which can improve academic performance. This means physical activity can help your kids in the most important game of all, life. And 
welcome back to Straightforward. I'm continuing my conversation with one of Albany State's best and brightest, Walora Adams, CEO of Joseph and Ellen. Yes, How yes. cool is that? It's amazing. It really is. <laughs> and of course, I got to throw this in. You know, I'm shameless. When you're at Albany State, you're a part of the Royal Court. Yes, I and was. so all of those things, all of the business etiquette and social etiquette, you were just being prepared to be the CEO, yes. where you're actually doing business in how many countries? Six. Six countries? Six countries so far. Wow. Yes. Okay, yes. so you're with Etsy. You thought you were going to get five orders a month. You got five a week. So you're rolling. I'm rolling. And it was just my first month in. And when you do research on Etsy, a lot of Etsy sellers, they don't even make over $100 you know really? in a month some not even in a year mm -hmm. so when i saw that it was catching on i was like oh this is a great thing but now the next part was feedback okay okay because now i'm getting orders from people you know with your family and friends sometimes they're just being nice right but with people who don't know you they just tell it like it, it is. is exactly yes and the feedback that i was getting was incredible mm -hmm. women oh i love this i this is it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, thank you so and much. And you're doing women what sizes? I'm doing women sizes extra small through 6XL. 6XL, and yes. you know a lot of times the fuller the figure, the more difficult it is to get high fashion clothes. Yes. And the outfit you have on is one of yours. Yes, it and is. I, and through the show, people will see all of your beautiful, and of course we'll invite them to your website yes. to check it out, but this is just one of the garments. Yes. So if you're a 6X, then designer Walora Adams of the Albany State yes. University can hook you up. I can hook everyone up. Uh -huh. I can hook every woman up no matter how tall she is, uh -huh. how short she is, the curves, if she's straight up and down, uh -huh. I have her. And that's the one thing that's allowed me to grow my business uh -huh. because a lot of sellers, whether it's um, a well-known brand label uh -huh. or just someone who does it as a hobby, they stop at extra large. Right. But the the average woman is not an extra, you know, yeah, you know what I'm true. saying? They're full figure. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. Exactly. You know, 70% of women, I was just reading an article because I research a mm -hmm, lot. 70% yeah. of women are 16 and up. Yeah, full figure women. Yes. Exactly. So my specialty became everything that I design. Mm -hmm. It has to look good mm -hmm. on a 2X to 6X. Mm -hmm. or else I'm not gonna design it. Really? Yes. Wow. That's my market. And once I realized who my girl was, mm -hmm. who, and, and once I met her, and yeah. once I realized what she needed and what she wanted, mm -hmm. that's when my business really started taking off. And so you do specialty yes. items, like weddings and, and... Yes, yes. You know, initially I thought that I was gonna get out here and make a few African print skirts mm -hmm. and, and, you know, maybe a few tool skirts. Right. But my customer actually changed the entire direction of my business. Really? Yes. My customers, they wear my clothes to events. Mm -hmm. So either they're going to a special a special event like a gala or mm -hmm. a holiday party, or they're a part of an event, mm -hmm. as such as a wedding, or they're right. the bride-to-be, mm -hmm. or they're the mom-to-be. Mm -hmm. And once I realized that my customers wore my clothes to events, then I started designing clothes specifically mm -hmm. for events. Right. So I've seen on your website the beautiful expecting mother uh, in a wedding dress that's a Walora design. Yes. And it looks very beautiful on her. Yes. And then I saw one of the fuller figure models that had the tool skirt. Yes. And it was fuchsia and it was all the beautiful colors because a lot of times when women are full figure they try to just stick to the subdued, the browns, yeah, the yeah. blacks, or whatever, yeah. but you have just blazed that trail. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. It's all about being colorful and it's all about being confident. Mm -hmm. And that's my mission, that's my goal. And I feel like that's why my gift is important mm -hmm. because I empower women and I give them confidence. Mm -hmm. And when a woman is confident, she can do anything really? in this world. She yeah. can take over the world. Mm -hmm. Just like uh, the other day, um, one of my customers sent me feedback mm -hmm. and she was saying she went to a wedding and she's a 3X, mm -hmm. went to a wedding, and she felt like the most gorgeous woman in the room. She felt confident yes. in what she was wearing. Yes, mm -hmm. she said, I was the best dressed, seriously, mm -hmm. and it's all because <laughs> of you. And normally, yes. full-figure women don't feel like yes. they're the best yes. dressed. They kind of yes. shrink behind. Yes. yes. And so you have uh, this wonderful support system yes. of your family, your yes. mom and dad, and of course your husband, yes. and, and little Max, you know, yes. he's allowing us to do this today. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> he is really funny. Uh, but you have added men and boys, some of these pieces you've done for them as well. The family wants to have a special yes. family outfit. I do mommy and me. I do a lot of family photo shoots. I've mm -hmm. done a lot of those. Mm -hmm. um, you know, with the men, whether it's a bow tie, a pocket square, or a blazer, mm -hmm. um, the little boys matching pants, matching bow tie, little girls matching the little skirts, vest. yeah, little yeah. vests, mm -hmm. yeah, things like that. I, 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 I didn't even realize that. I was going to be doing Joseph and Ellen in this way. Because your gift will yes, make room, room for you. Exactly, yes. exactly. Yeah, exactly. and all that money, of course, we were glad you went there at the Albany State University, the bachelor's degree, the master's degree, and we appreciate the time you spend in education. But your heart was in fashion. It's in fashion. But, you know, I loved going to Albany State because I met so many wonderful and amazing people, people. at mm -hmm. Albany State. And even now, when it comes to my business, I push so many people to live out their dreams, mm -hmm. you know, that went to Albany State because right. they know me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, their thing is, you know, I know someone. I know her right. personally. And right. if she made it, then I, I can, can make do it, it too. too. Okay, well, share with our audience before we run out of time your the name of the company, your website, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, how they can find you because I know a lot of the mature women yes. want to be the showstopper yes. and you can help them show up at their event and be the showstopper. Yes, my website is www.josephandellen.com. Mm -hmm. And that's E-L-Y-N-N, -N, Ellen, yes. okay? Yes. E-L-Y-N-N. Um, Instagram, Facebook is all the same, Joseph and Ellen. Mm -hmm. uh, my Etsy shop, if you search on Etsy, Etsy is E-T-S-Y dot com. Mm -hmm. It's Joseph and Ellen. Okay. Yeah, I try it. That's one thing I learned through branding. When you have consistent. a name. Consistent. Consistent, yes. Right. That's like with me, straightforward <laughs> with Gloria Stroll. Everywhere I can, I have to brand that. Yes, Because yes. that, you, you create, it's like McDonald's. Yes. It's, it's name recognition, emblems, whatever, you know. Yes, so, yeah. yes. So, what can we expect? You're in six countries. Yes, already. And all over the U.S. I was in Hawaii and a friend of mine, you know her, uh, Alexa. Texas. Yes. We met for breakfast and she came in with your one of your kente cloth skirts yes. on and she said make sure you tell Laura I had this <laughs> skirt on. So I know it to be true that you're all over the country. Yes. Because that was a pleasant surprise. Yes. yes. And it's amazing. Like I thought that I love Georgia and I thought it was going to be my number one state but mm -hmm. really Texas California, New York, really, like they show major love to my to my brand. And so now you are just it's moving. It's moving. Six countries. Aus Australia, really. Oh, I get so many orders in Australia. I get so many orders in France. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I got my first order from Paris. Mm -hmm. Oh, you were really impressed. Oh, yes. Because that's the fashion method. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. So if someone wants to reach out to you, they can get you on all of the social media yes. and they can visit your website yes. and leave you a message. And I just want to let you know how very proud Columbus, Georgia is and more proud from the Albany State University. And we will be following you. Yes. And when you get the private jet, you oh. have to come back and visit, and yes. then you have to give me a ride. Yes, I'm coming to pick you up. Okay, you oh, and your see. husband. Oh, see, I okay. love that. Okay, we have that on tape. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming down from Atlanta, and we're behind you 100%. Thank you. All right, thank you. This has been straightforward. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Until next time, be blessed.